That store is important, again, because the brain wants to save resources by not attending to stuff that doesn't seem relevant to me, number one. And number two, it doesn't want to spend resources synthesizing oxytocin, which is costly, having you feel empathy, unless there's a reason to. So this is why we want stories with conflict, right? Stories with something happening. Um, so um, when we create those stories in which I capture your attention and I have conflict, then I'm likely to have the sense of connection, care, uh, you know, sometimes tears, sometimes laughter, where I'm actually emotionally engaged in that story. And then this is the crazy, weird neuroscience part. Because we have these sort of lazy brains that are highly social, once we watch the story, say, and we get engaged in it emotionally, it's as if our brains say, oh, apparently the humans are fill in the blank, donating to care for uh, sick dogs now. So uh, I guess, you know, I'm a human, I should be doing that too. So we have this carryover period in which if you have sufficient emotional resonance, then you want to do what the characters in the story are doing. You begin to inhabit their emotions. So to, to, to wrap up, this is like watching the James Bond movie, and as he's dodging bullets, your palms are sweating, right? You're actually, uh, you know, vicariously, in some sense, less, not even vicariously, you're actually inhabiting those emotions yourself, and that's why it's such a good story, and that's why we enjoy it so much.